Good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, we can. Okay, thank you. Folks, uh, I welcome you all uh, to the class of uh, ENG 9411. I hope you are enjoying the sunny days uh, because after a few days we will get uh, snow maybe. Okay. Is there anyone here who got any problem logging into the class? Okay. Now, folks, uh, uh, I'm not going to start uh, this lecture today, but I just want to discuss how we are going to take on this class because this is the first uh, fall class which is going to be the online for sure. And I will also discuss some course outline with you. I will also discuss some project and your evaluation requirements. Now, one thing I would request if you can extend your microphone. So we can avoid some noise. Fahimu, can you please turn off your microphone? Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, folks, I need to discuss our course outline and some project requirements with you. Is this screen visible to everyone? I'm sharing the course outline screen with you. Okay, thank you. Uh, folks, uh, first of all, my name is Zaman Sajid. I'm a PhD from Amori University. Uh, I'm also the postdoc uh, in Process Engineering Department. Uh, this is my office location, I I C 3013. This is the burning center. But I would strongly recommend you not to come to the office because of the social distancing. We are all following the safety rules. So our class uh, will be basically going through the Webex, as I mentioned in my message uh, on the D2L, this is the platform which I believe is a uh, little bit more efficient as compared to the Brightspace. So we will have our classes uh, going through this. Every week I will send you uh, a link for the Webex meeting, just like I sent it today. So you just need to click on join the meeting as you are joining now and you will be able to log into the class, okay? So talking about uh, our course outline, we will have some fundamentals of uh, probability models, basic probability concepts and mathematics of probability. We will study some random variables and two types, discrete and the continuous probability distributions. With these uh, two discrete and the continuous uh, probability distribution, we will go some details into how we find out the mean, how we find out the variance, covariance of random variable skewness and kurtosis. We will also study the joint probability functions, how we work with them, and what are the marginal probability functions. Okay. In terms of uh, the uh, probabilistic modeling, we will also have some concepts uh, based on the probability plotting transformation and we will also study some mm -hmm. tests in order to check if your probabilistic model develop is uh, correct or not which is the goodness of it uh, test in terms of uh, the reliability engineering we will study some faulty analysis techniques and the event tree analysis techniques bow tie diagram we will also go through some computer applications on how you perform them using the computers we have two more topics, which is the Bayesian networks and its application. We will use some computer software tools and algorithms to develop the Bayesian network and we will see what are the fundamentals behind them. 
we will study the Monte Carlo simulation, which is a technique uh, used for the uncertainty analysis. And we will study, along with its uh, basic mathematics, we will study the computer software tools that we use for this analysis. Now, in terms of your course evaluation, you will have the regular assignments, which is categorized as the 30% of uh, your final 100% uh, grades. You will have the projects, which is worth of 25%, and then you will have a final exam, which is a take home exam. Okay. Now for uh, the assignments, we have the plan for six assignments at the time, but we will see how we go with this uh, uh, semester. Okay. How you are going to submit your assignments and projects? Now one thing is very important. You need to follow the deadlines, please. If you have uh, any emergency that you cannot follow your deadline, you can discuss with me. Now regarding the virus situation, thanks God we are a little bit better in St. John's. So I hope there will be no issue with this. But in case you find any difficulty, just drop me an email and we can discuss that. I do not accept uh, the late assignments. Now you need to submit your assignments and project uh, using the Dropbox. You will see uh, every time you receive assignment, there will be a Dropbox on the D2L. If someone is uh, new to the university, I can also help them. You just uh, drop an email and mention you need some training on how you submit an assignment on the Dropbox. I can definitely arrange a meeting with you. Now, I because everything is online, I don't need any kind of your hard printed copy, but I would advise you to keep it with you unless you receive the grades of your assignment because there may be, there may be a problem in scanning of your document or maybe I'm not able to understand your handwriting, you know. So in that case, I will uh, get back to your original work. So just keep your hard copy un unless you receive your grades, but I don't need, need it. Is there any question so far? Okay. Now, regarding the textbook, uh, these are the three textbooks that uh, we will follow. In terms of how we are going to study, we will have, uh, I will be using the whiteboard in order to deliver the lecture. And uh, I have already developed uh, notes uh, from these three books actually. So I will write it down and you need to note it down. So this means every time you come to the class, please make sure you have your notebook and pen ready with you. You will develop your own notes from the lectures. It is up to you if you want to buy these books. Uh, well, I will not recommend it because I have already developed notes from this. But yes, if you want to have some extra consultation from these books, you can have it. For some of the chapters, uh, I will like you to solve the examples from those chapters. I will share the copy of uh, those particular chapters with you. Okay. Now coming back to your term project. So this course is uh, basically based on the uh, mathematics uh, calculations. You will see we are solving two n calculations. Now the application part is what you need to cover in your project basically. So your project uh, should uh, be able to apply the techniques that we learn in our course. Either it could be a research problem that you are dealing with or it could be some industrial problem. So the basic objective is that you show the applications of your probabilistic uh, models on a given problem. Okay. And of course, uh, because that's an engineering based course, your problem should be an engineering based problem. So the idea of the project is uh, that this is a group uh, study project. You need to have the group of uh, up to five people maximum. You will identify a problem and then you assign the task to each member in the group. 
try not to take uh, the projects uh, which are too big uh, just like the application of probabilistic method on urea plant this is a very broad uh, topic actually so i would discourage you if you take this uh, project now uh, regarding the project there are three requirements here one is that uh, you need to develop some project outline with a work plan which is a timeline and then you need to have the formation of your groups uh, maximum five students in a group and then the project report the first uh, part i need to have it by september 29th so what you need to submit by that time i need the name of your group members who are going to work uh, in a group i need the title of that topic which you will be working on a very brief outline of the one page of the project and within this i also need your weekly task and the highlights of deliverables who will do what so that's what i need in your work plan now we are all facing the covid 19 situation so i will strongly encourage if you can use the course discussion forum to discuss uh, and form a group you can also use uh, the webex to arrange the meetings among you in terms of the report i need it by november 22nd so these are the requirements of uh, the report uh, which you can see this is the evaluation criteria folks one of the important thing you need to avoid the plagiarism in your work i will definitely check the plagiarism of your projects and uh, please do not submit uh, any previous uh, project or projects of your friends or from other courses otherwise there will be no credibility of your work okay yes is there any question here in this Folks, do you have any question from what we have discussed so far? Okay. Okay, good. Now, uh, one thing, please tell us more about the project. Okay. So the project is basically you have uh, you apply the techniques that as i mentioned this uh, this course is mostly the mathematics base so you will learn some probabilistic techniques in this course so in the project uh, you will choose it to apply those techniques uh, for example i can say that you can choose the uh, bow tie diagram and uh, you can choose a problem on which you can apply the bow tie diagram for this project uh, you will need to study some research articles i already gave you the name of uh, some of the journals in your course outline so these are some of the good journals in publicistic engineering that you can go and consult some uh, problems to discuss so it will be basically uh, applications of the techniques that we learn here in the course Okay, someone asked me a question. I'm sorry, I missed it. Uh, hi. Uh, when can we expect the first assignment to become available? First assignment? That will be most likely uh, near the end of September. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so now I got the question of the dawn. I'm sorry, I missed it. How to practically form the group five, group of five, when we are all separately located? So this is why I recommended you to use the discussion forum in the group. If you go to the D2L, you have a discussion section there. You can also arrange a meeting uh, on that or using the WebEx as well. You can invite your friends to have a discussion on some topics. Can we have a look uh, at old projects just to get an idea? I will uh, try to make them available for you, okay? But I need to take the permission from those who have done that, but it will be make, I will make them available.
project should be in group question mark well you can have the individual project uh, but uh, the assessment criteria will remain the same so it is just like adding up uh, the more burden on yourself uh, so what is the basic idea of the project uh, when you will go to your professional life you will see that you you have to work with the other colleagues so having the group activity at this uh, training stage of your life will help you to deal with the problem you will understand how the different people works i also encourage people not to have the group uh, with their friends otherwise they will be not able to learn how to deal with the different kind of the people you know and share to the student after class yes thank you for reminding me siam now every class uh, will be recorded if you have uh, any concerns by this you need to discuss with me now uh, and uh, yes it will be available uh, to all the students after the class is done the system takes around one or two hours in order to process the recording and after that it will be available to you i will share the link of uh, that video with you uh hi again uh where we don't uh, have an office uh, and you're not going to be at the university and we would like some extra help should we schedule a webex with you Is yes that, definitely uh, definitely yeah you can uh, drop me an email and i will immediately set up a meeting with you yes even if okay, thank uh, you. you guys are in the group you are welcome to have join that and i will be happy to answer your question for sure yeah okay uh one of the question of the don stevens i missed it i guess not really sure how to form the groups and agree on a topic when we are all working separately in our home locations so for this one i mention again uh, just use the course forum and uh, try to interact uh, with the friends you can just leave a message if you are interested on this topic and if anyone is interested in the same topic they can uh, interact with you Folks, is there any more question for today? Will the class recording be available on D twelve? Now, this uh, recording will uh, is the Webex is not integrated uh, with the Brightspace at the moment, so I doubt that it can be connected with that. But I will try to make it available, maybe through the YouTube or some other platforms. if we are using the bright space then those uh, lectures are definitely available with us i try to upload the videos actually but it takes uh, too much time on before the, this uh, lecture start actually class started i try to upload the video but it takes much of the time to upload on the d12 but i will see what is the best option available is it anyone here who is joining us out of the st johns Okay, Edward, uh, which place you are in, and Fatima? Okay, we have two students from India. Welcome. I think it must be we have one from Pakistan as well. so it must be quite late for you i guess there and iran as well
for those of you who have a very first uh, semester at Momori University, I know it is uh, a very difficult time, but uh, things will come back to normal hopefully in the winter 2021. Okay, folks, is there any question uh, regarding the course outline or the project requirements or your evaluation? Now, if you look on the course uh, outline, most of uh, like the course evaluation, most of the work is with you actually. This is 30% of the assignments and project is 25%. The final exam will be the take home exam. I will give you some guidelines as we approach uh, near to the final exam. Suleiman, but can you be visible to us? Okay, uh, I can turn on my camera. Hi, everyone. Okay, so folks, if you don't have uh, any questions, I will let you go now. Now, one thing I expect from you next week, please uh, bring in, please bring your notebook and uh, a pen with you so that you can note down what I'm writing about, okay? Sabihuddin, do you have any questions, Sabihuddin? This time is best for class. Okay, good. Now, the original plan was to have a three hour class on Wednesday. So, the Tina was going to kill me. It's three hours how we can stay in front of the computer for three hours. So, I told her just divide it into two. So, now on the new plan is uh, Tuesday we will have 2 to 3, 3.15 sorry and uh, on Thursday we will have from 2 to 3.15. How to get uh, the course contents or notes if you miss a meeting? Could you please repeat the time on Tuesday? Is it the same? For yes, the time is the same on Tuesday and Thursday from 2 to 3.15 p.m. St. John's time. Now, the Don asked me how to get course contents or notes if uh, you miss a meeting. Most likely, I will not uh, miss the meeting. But in case I have to miss it then i will let you know 24 hour in advance what we will do about that lecture okay if i miss a meeting mean okay so don is asking if he misses a meeting how he can get the course content so as i said i will share the uh, recorded lecture with you so you can go through that recording le lecture at a later time if you miss uh, the class. This is one of the purpose to record the lectures. Again, if you have any privacy concerns about recording the lectures, you need to let me know now. The best thing is you just turn off your video if uh, you have if you don't want to come into the recording. Folks, is there any more question for me?
Okay, if you don't have any question, not at the moment. However, I'm sure they will be as we get for sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. So, folks, we'll start uh, our proper lecture from uh, next Tuesday. Today, I just plan to show you how we'll be going through this course. Because for most of you, it will be very first time taking the online class. Uh, and uh, I wanted to discuss some course outline and the projects as well. Okay, if you don't have any question, I will just uh, let you go. Thank you. See you. All right. Thank you very much. And see you on Tuesday. Can you be flexible, Malik Al Anraj? Sorry, what did you mean by that? Can you be flexible? Do you mean in the time or? Uh, Malik Al Araj, I'm not clear about your question. Can you please uh, write down complete question? Can you be flexible in what? Rules of what? As I said, if you have any problem or the difficulty in your assignment submission, you can just discuss with me. It's 9 p.m. in Iran. If you have any problem submitting your assignment on time, you just can let me know and we can discuss that on email. I will be definitely helping you out in all ways. Okay, no problem. Folks, if you don't have any question, uh, we can turn it off. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. And Okay, we have one question here. Which communication that I can reach D12 inbox or email? You can email me for a quick response. I'm very quick in responding my emails unless I'm somewhere busy. So the email is the quickest way. You can also leave me a message in the D12 uh, inbox. Okay, thank you very much everyone and uh, enjoy your time either you are in India or Pakistan or anywhere. Thank you and see you on Tuesday at 2 p.m. of St. John's time. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.